Tonight, new details in the murder of a construction worker on the turnpike yesterday that some witnesses say stemmed from a political argument between two men. But the victim's parents tell News 6 tonight the men were friends and co-workers. News 6's Eric Von Anken is live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office for us tonight. Eric. Matt, deputies tell me that the suspect brought a backpack to work yesterday when he was picked up by the victim. They say he never brings a backpack to work, ever. Deputies here seem to clearly think this was premeditated, a vicious premeditated murder with something like this as the murder weapon, a construction tool. This is a trowel normally used to smooth out concrete. He was full of life. And uh, his friend took that life from from us. The father of the man stabbed to death yesterday at this turnpike construction site says his son, William Stephen Knight Jr., loved his job. He had just been promoted to foreman, and he loved his childhood friend and coworker. Mr. Tony, do you have anything to say to the victim's family? Mason Tony, the man just hired by Knight, and the man charged with murdering Knight. The gentleman Mason, you know, he was a friend of the family for years, and I've been here, and it's starting to be some type of political thing now. Like, I don't know. I don't know what, I can't explain what happened to my son. I don't understand. I never thought Mason would do this to my son. But it wasn't about politics. I can tell you right now. Deputies say Mason thinks the government is bad and out to get him. And that witnesses at this construction site said Knight is a proud and outspoken American and pro Donald Trump. Deputies also say at the construction site there was a brand new flag thrown on the ground next to Knight's body. He loved Mason. Mason and him grew up. They had Halloween parties together. They hung out together. We all of our family knew each other. This wasn't about politics. There was something wrong with, with Mason. Knight's mother tells me that she warned her son not to hire the murder suspect because she, he was acting strange. We tried to talk to his mother about it. Apparently, she lives down the road from the family. Nobody came to the door when we knocked. The family says they could really use some help tonight. They've set up a fundraising page. We put that link for you if you'd like to help on ClickOrlando.com right now. For live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6. Just a tragic story, Eric. Thanks.